weekend Alden uh, for a story like that just for us to say thank you and, and recognize mm -hmm. you know and very nice weather overall this weekend. If you had uh, anything that you wanted to do, going to stay pretty sunny and warm this week. But uh, we are going to start to notice a few changes uh, for the midweek. A few Main, degrees. Uh, Feeling yes, like summer literally. here. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we're also going to see some rain chances. It is starting to get a little bit dry out there. So as we look outside from our Midway University camera, you can see the flag there blowing oh so gently in the breeze. What your weather app won't tell you is that there is an air quality alert for tomorrow because of increased uh, ozone and Pollution. We typically see that as we get into the warmer months, so that's not unusual for us. Uh, also, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we're going to see those July like temperatures over the next uh, several days as well. Uh, that means our highs will be in the upper 80s to even the lower 90s heading into this weekend. But if you want to fire up the grill, we'll have great weather for that. Middle 80s here for the next few days, but notice those chances there Wednesday and Thursday in particular for some pop up thunderstorms. I don't think it would be anything that's going to be too widespread and wash out things, but uh, we do need a, just a little bit of a drink for the sake of our gardens at least. Across the country, weather's doing fairly uh, okay as well, so we don't have any major incidents or delays airport-wise, which is good news if you know somebody that's going to be coming home later tonight. Looking at future cast, clear skies for us tonight will dip into the upper 50s for most areas, middle 60s here in the metro. Tomorrow afternoon, we could have a couple of those isolated pop-up downpours or thunder storms, but these are going to be very isolated and I believe the majority of us tomorrow will be staying dry. Now Wednesday is when we have that better chance to see some more showers and storms a little bit more numerous and widely scattered starting off fairly mild again in the morning, but tomorrow uh, Wednesday afternoon and the heating of the day. That's when we can see some of these storms and clouds build up big enough to develop into a decent little downpour or a thunderstorm and sometimes after those decay, they can develop another one a little bit later as well. And if you find yourself underneath one of those storms, your temperatures, at least temporarily, are going to be much cooler. Same story goes for us on Thursday with that chance for some of those widely scattered showers and downpours. But notice how that area of rain slowly creeps off to the west heading into Friday. We'll notice higher pressure settling in here for Friday, which is going to mean sunnier skies and much warmer temperatures. That's when we could find ourselves getting into the lower 90s for the first weekend of of June. Here's your hometown forecast. Mostly clear for us tonight. Middle 60s here in the urban core because of that heat island effect. Outlying areas may be in the lower 60s of Jefferson County. Elsewise, you'll find yourself there in the upper 50s. And for tomorrow, that isolated storm, lower 80s outside of the city, middle 80s here in the metro. But again, a little thunderstorm could greatly reduce your temperatures into the 70s. Here's your seven day forecast. Upper 80s on the first day of June. That's this Thursday. 90 one on a Friday. The crusade for children is this weekend looking pretty sunny and hot for that as well. Near 90 degrees at both days and Friday through the start of next week, next Monday at least looking sunny and dry for us, but we could start to see our weather pattern changing a little bit for the second week first uh, second week of June, and that could mean a little bit more in the way of rain.